Can you imagine how many people must be out there by now? I find it embarrassing. I don't think so. I'd love to have my mum out there rooting for me. Rose is like a proper mum. How do you mean? Well, she's always there for you, isn't she? I mean, tells you what cares about you. No matter how horrible you all are at times. <laughs> yeah, but she can be harsh herself, you know. It's not all one way. No, that's part of it, isn't it? Well, she'll have a go at you if you're out of order. It's only because she cares about you, wants you to do the right thing. Not just because she's in a stop over her hair going wrong. Why, is that what your mum was like? Yeah. She's pretty rubbish at it, really. Motherhood. She wasn't cut out for it, I suppose. Yeah, still. She shouldn't have taken it out on you, though. She never really liked me. That's the truth of it. Steve, she could see the point of. They made her laugh. Told her how great she looked. You know, she'd wheel him out if someone came around the house, knowing he could charm the pants off him. All the time I'd be sitting upstairs, wondering who it was. How come she didn't want to show me off? She must have loved you, though. See, you think that, because you've got a proper mum, one who knows how to do it. It doesn't always work that way. What do you think she didn't like about you? I wasn't like her. I wasn't pretty or cute or giggly or any of that girly stuff, you know, how women were supposed to be. She wanted someone she could discuss handbags and lipstick with. Not this plain Jane who was into U-shaped glaciated valleys. <laughs> God blimey, I remember those. And they really were boring. Not to me. So is that why you're always sticking up for Steve? Because your mum was so useless. You look out for me too, though. Though I was older. He'd bring his mates home. If any of them tried to chat me up, he'd be like... Pete's all right. You want to watch out for Baz, though? He's only after one thing. Yeah. Me and Pepe would have probably beat you both up. Yeah. Yeah, it was okay. Not the same now, though. Not since what happened to my husband. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that from the trial. I still get you, huh? And Steve. He needs me now. I want to be there for him, whatever he... My family. Jackie. Do you think Steve killed Saskia? No. First right, Doc. <laughs> You're right. My leg's stuck. Can't feel it. Are the fire brigade here yet? Yeah, they're out here now. Look, don't worry. We're going to have you. I'm sorry, sir. Right. I'm going to have to ask you to move back. Just don't worry. Back, sir. Leave. My sister is in yeah. there. Steve, come on. Just, just let him get on with us, yeah? to wait for the SEU before we can shore up the roof. That's the only problem I can see, really. Yeah. What's going on, eh? Why ain't anyone going in here? I'm afraid the whole building is unsafe. We have to secure it before the fire services can go. <laughs> so you're just going to leave it because you don't fancy risking your own neck, is that it? If we go in now, we could endanger them more by damaging the structure. We've got to wait for the right Get equipment. your hands off me. My sister is in there and you're talking about equipment. Like, if you don't want to go in and save her, I'll do it myself. That's what I'm saying. You could put her in worse danger by going in now. Just get behind the line, please, sir. Jackie, are you all right? You'd only frighten her by getting upset. Don't tell me if I can get upset Steve, or not. Steve, this ain't going to help out, is it? I imagine it is. There's nothing we can do. We've just got to wait. I'm sick of waiting. Oh, this is ridiculous. Just try and calm down, will you? You're making things worse. Yeah. 